Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an Ulta haul, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video. A little fun fact about this Ulta haul. This is my third freaking time recording it. Oh, I am so ready to be done recording this Ulta haul, but I've just had so many issues with the past two videos. The first one, it was way too dark and I looked orange as crap. The last one I just did like two hours ago was freaking out of focus the entire video and was so blurry and I just, I want to scream right now, but it's a good day. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna film our Ulta haul and we're gonna have a successful third time. I believe it. I'm gonna manifest it in my life. So yeah, if you wanna see what I got in my Ulta haul, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so most of these products are already open and used because like I said, this is the third time I've recorded this video. So bear with me. I'm just gonna be grabbing random stuff out of my bag in no particular order. But the whole entire reason why I went to Ulta was because my husband approached me. It was like, Babe. You want to cut my hair? I was like, yeah, that's like great content. Like, duh, I want to cut your hair. So I cut his hair and this is the whole reason why I went to Ulta. It's like this home haircutting kit. So you get these scissors, these two clips in a comb as well as a cape. So that is awesome. I went to Ulta to find like scissors and a comb. I didn't expect to find a whole kit, especially with the cape. This was awesome. It is smaller than like a typical cape, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, I think this is like the Diane kit or something like that, but it was like $20 and it came in so handy. And and I did record me cutting his hair. So you'll just have to keep a lookout for my next video. Maybe it'll be there. If you wanna see how it went and what my husband thought of my hair cutting skills. Next, I got a Diane wide big teeth comb. It's actually a shower comb, so you can put it in the shower and like comb your hair out when you're showering. But I like to use these big teeth combs to like brush out my curls after I comb my hair. It just makes them like so voluminous and just natural wave and just looks so good. I mean, this is obviously like a long time ago. It's my hair's fallen so much now. But yeah, this is like $2 and it's a really nice comb. Next, I have the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. This I have been loving. I've used it three times, I think, and I have seen the biggest change in my skin. It says, developed with dermatologists, this lightweight formula, gently even skin tone, helping to fade the appearance of post acne marks and pores for a refined complexion while helping to restore the protective skin barrier. Like this has just changed my face already in the three days that I've been using it. I put it on the first night, woke up the next night and was like just shocked at how good my skin looked after one time using it. It didn't like take away any of my like breakouts or anything, but just like the discoloration on my face and like all my skin acne scars were like not totally gone, but they were very, very, what's the word? Improved, I guess. You could tell that this serum is like working to get them gone. And I just loved this stuff. This was like $20 or something, but it is really good. And I can't wait to see what it does to my face after 30 days, seeing what it did to my face only after three. So love this. Next to go along with my hair cutting thing. I need like a spray bottle. So I just picked up this little mini one. Um, I already have water in it because I already cut my husband's hair. Came in super handy to like wet down the top part of his hair so I could cut it evenly and yeah, very handy. Next, we have some lashes. Now I got three pairs of lashes because it was National Lash Day on February 19th and so lashes at Ulta were 30% off. So I was like, Ooh, I'm gonna stock up. And these looked really fun. I'd never seen this from Ardell before. These are the Ardell Professional Texturize and they just look so fun and like wispy and flirty. And they remind me of the pair of lashes that I wore for my very first makeup tutorial and I had to throw those away because they are so old. But these kind of just remind me of it and I wanted to try them out. So I got these. I don't remember the price of these either, but all the lashes were 30% off. And then I got these Kiss My Lash But Better. I just think these look so wispy and fun and lengthy. And I don't know, I just have never seen these from Kiss before. And so I wanted to try them out. It says they have the thinnest band ever. So I'm excited to see what that is all about. And then the next lashes, I'm actually wearing them. These are the new, Kiss 
Falscara lashes. So basically, like they're not in there because they're on my eyes. You don't have to use lash glue with this, which I love. But basically you get this like, kind of like mascara tubing thing. So one end is like called a bond and one end is called a seal. So you apply the bond just like you would apply mascara. And then you actually put these lashes underneath your real lashes, not on top like falsies. You put them underneath like right close to your waterline. I was a little freaked out at first, but I'm doing like a review on them right now. So I'll upload a video like in a few weeks talking about them and how I like them. And then the seal end, you put them on after you applied them to like kind of just seal everything together and you get a pair of tweezers, my favorite eyelash tweezers ever. Love these so much. But this whole kit was like $19, but like 30% off, it was like $13. So I couldn't pass this up. Um, I saw Rachel Love try this in a video and she loved them. So I'm like, so you'll just have to check out my review <laughs> to see how I really feel about them. Next to go along with my other review, I am reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. This I am wearing it today and I'm not gonna go too much into detail about how I feel about it because I will be posting a review on it. But yeah, I've seen so many like hate reviews on this and like people that have loved this product. I just thought I needed to test it out for myself and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I will have this review up in a few weeks, I think. So make sure to check out that video to see what I thought. Oh, and L'Oreal was also having a sale. So their sale was buy two L'Oreal buy two L'Oreal products, get the third one free. So I picked up that tinted moisturizer as well as the Air Volume Mega Mascara. This I've seen so many times in Ulta and I've always like walked past it and be like, hmm, that looks really good, I should try it out. But I just end up not ever getting it. But since they were having the sale, I was like, yeah, I'll get it. Try it out and get another free product, you betcha. And then my other L'Oreal Paradise product is another mascara. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara. I don't know why I got two mascaras, but anyway, I have loved this. I have loved this for years and years now, but the one that I have is waterproof. I don't know why I got waterproof. I absolutely hate waterproof mascara. And so I just picked up one that is not waterproof, but it's the same mascara. My other one, the waterproof one, probably needs to be thrown out anyway. It's probably like three years old. I read somewhere that you're supposed to like throw your mascara out after three months, which if that is the case, I need to get rid of all my mascaras. But yeah, this one is waterproof. So I'm actually going to throw this one away because I do not like her. So next, I have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress. And Maybelline was also having the same buy two, get the third one free sale. So I picked up this shade. I actually just swatched it for you guys in the last video I did. And this is what it looks like. It is a lot more pinky like on my lips than what I like. To me, it looks like a pretty nude, but it's a lot more pink. So I don't know if I will ever wear it by itself. I'll probably mix and match it with some other lipsticks or I think maybe it would be a pretty spring color. So I might wear this in the spring. I don't know yet. So that was my first Maybelline product. And then my next Maybelline product was the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This stuff is freaking beautiful. I am wearing it today. I'm a little oily. I did my face a long time ago. So yeah, I freaking love this stuff. It's such a beautiful highlighter. I was just really wanting a loose highlighter that, you know, not in a palette, not connected to any other products because I don't have one. Like that's hard to believe. I don't have just a highlighter on its own. So I really wanted one just to throw in my purse or to travel with just to make it simple. But I have loved this, like love, love, love this. And then my last Maybelline product is is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the Matte Plus Poreless in the shade Warm Honey. This is honestly probably my favorite drugstore foundation. I don't know what it is about this, but I have loved this forever. This is the foundation that I used when I did my very first makeup tutorial and I haven't had it in my collection for a long time and I've been missing it lately. So I really needed to, I didn't really need to, that's dramatic, but I wanted to get it back in my collection. So I'm super excited to have my baby back. Do you guys notice anything different? different about me, huh? huh, huh? I'm back to my black hair and I love it. I'm so excited. I never want to stray away from it again. I've missed it so freaking much. I just got it done today. Shout out to you, Allie. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so freaking happy to be back. The last color that I did, I feel like it damaged my hair. I mean, obviously, because I bleached it, but I needed a shampoo and conditioner that was going to repair my hair. And so they were having another sale. Buy one, get one half off for the Joyco. I think that's how you say it. Joyco K-Pack Reconstructing Shampoo and Conditioner.
conditioner and this is supposed to repair damaged hair perfect for me i was talking to my friend and she swears by this shampoo and conditioner she says she's tried every like a lot of other ones and she always goes back to joyco and so i decided i was gonna try it because her hair is so freaking soft and it looks beautiful so i just wanted to try this and oh my gosh it smells so good Allie used it on me today to wash out my color and stuff and it just smells so good and my hair is so soft now i'm just ready to see it repair my hair i'm super excited to not have damaged hair anymore am i really already on the last product and then the last product is the nothing new it's the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this i have never tried but i do have the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation had this for a while and i love it so I decided I, it was time for me to try their concealer. Actually, this is the second one I had. The first one I picked up was way too olivey. So I'm hoping this one works. It's kind of more dark of a concealer than what I typically get. It's not the correct undertone either, really. So I don't know if I'll end up keeping it or returning it again to get another shade, but I feel like this was a very hard concealer to pick out to like match my skin tone or the preference that I wanted. But I've heard it's a really good concealer. I've heard a lot of people love it. And I'm honestly, it's ColourPop. I love everything ColourPop basically. So so yeah, so that was it. That was my whole entire Ulta haul. I had 16 total items. If you guys have tried any of these items, let me know down in the comments if you liked them, loved them, couldn't live without them. What are your thoughts on them? I wanna know what you guys think and then compare it to what I feel like. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. I have so much content coming, guys. I know I've said this so many times already, but I think I finally have made my decision that I'm going to start uploading not just once a week on Sunday but twice a week so I'm gonna be uploading on Sunday and Wednesday as of right now I spent two hours last night just planning out two months worth of content so yeah I'm so excited I'm gonna be so busy all my friends don't at me busy creating my dream life just kidding but yeah I'm so excited if you guys want to check out me cutting my husband's hair and what he thinks about it if we're still married after it that will be my next video so make sure to subscribe and i guess until next time i will see you in my next video bye guys thanks for watching go out and make the world smile the color pop pretty fit eh? this better be the last time i'm freaking filming this video i'm not doing it again i'm just not doing it again scratch the crap out of my chin